really blessed here in Alberta because we get a very strong bloom of high protein quality grass. The viewscape that you see defines what Alberta and Canada as a whole have to offer to the world. We have something that very few other countries in the world have and that's space. We are able as producers to produce cattle in wide open ranges, but the end meat product is coming out absolutely consistent. And that's what international customers want. In Canada, we've made a number of investments uh, in, in the industry, starting off with the cow-calf, having to put in an identifier before the animal leaves the herd of origin. We have a national identification system. We have mandatory premise ID. And in Alberta, we have uh, some elements of mandatory traceability. Also, we have mandatory uh, age verification. We are in the food production business and we have to be responsible for that product that we're putting through regardless of how that animal starts its life. It could be at the most traditional old-fashioned ranch in the world, but like it or not, that animal still will be, end up as a food product to, to somebody someday. So we must all take our part in the responsibility of, of maintaining the safety of that product. Beneficial access to me uh, means leveraging the investments that the entire Canadian industry has made throughout the various sectors and trying to get something for those investments. And we're finding and discovering that other countries are interested in these points and they're actually opening their doors to Canada now ahead of other countries and other nations simply because of the mandatory IDs that we have in place. How do you assure the purchaser that that is actually the age of the cow? The only way to do that is to have a viable system of, of tracing in place. The only way to do it with certainty. Those various things that we've done should be tried to be incorporated into the, into the trade protocols and the agreements that are struck with various countries. So we're trying to raise the bar. It's not enough just to negotiate with governments. The governments, to some extent, are reflecting the concerns of their people when they're keeping beef out. You know, BSE did scare people. At ALMA, we're trying to act as a unifying influence on all of the various groups. We're trying to bring the stakeholders together and develop a, a coherent, logical strategy for moving forward. Every time a market opens up to, to Canada, it's good news to a beef producer because we know that that value is eventually going to come back to us at some point. But we have had a lot more success with an incremental approach. If you take the example of Hong Kong, the approach was to get in on a limited basis and progressively improve that access with time. The recent agreement to get the uh, Chinese to accept boneless beef under 30 months of age and to accept tallow is very important because, as we all know, the Chinese market is very large. The bottom line is that everybody understands that in order to gain more value for the calf that's sitting out in this field, there has to be a pull from the market from the other end. We need to be able to create the highest value for our end product in order to make the value for these calves standing on grass today. We would definitely be into the European market with improved access for Canadian meat and livestock products uh, well ahead of all our competitors because no other major meat supplier uh, to the European Union is on the verge of negotiating a free trade agreement. It does again allow Canada a great strategic advantage because of the level of traceability that exists today through our regulations. To me, beneficial access is, is showing that there's some value uh, to those investments uh, in achieving market access, maintaining market access, and in getting better price points uh, for Canadian cattle in international markets. We have a very viable uh, business here in Canada that is export dependent. You, I can't emphasize that enough. We are export dependent. The U.S. is not. It is time now to take a stand. We are encouraging our government and industry partners to leverage the tremendous strengths of our system and blaze a trail into these markets. Markets which are asking for the premium products that our livestock producers and world-class processors are ready to offer.